language is they understand that men and women are in fact quite different, that men are more powerful physically at the very least from uh, uh, over women and that women need protection. This is so archaic. I mean, if you said it that way, they would flip out. Yeah, that's... That's exactly. what they're saying. And I think that there's some hope there, maybe not a lot, but a little, in just that basic acknowledgement of reality about biological distinct things and differences and how, how meaningful they are. Because, you know, we're, we're at a time in our culture where you're not even allowed to say that men and women are different, um, no matter how obvious it is. So long as human nature remains what it is, uh, we'll have plenty of evidence that men and women are different. And I think that that's, you know, the truth of that will persist no matter how much our culture tries to deny biological distinctions or their importance. Yeah, and so speaking of little slivers of hope, which is I think what we were just talking about, one of the slivers of hope that we have, that I personally have, is that you know our culture seems to be leaping headlong into a, a, a direction that's just denying of its entire civilizational inheritance of Christianity or Christendom. But you know, we're kind of fighting on reality's side here, aren't we? And you can deny reality as much as you want. You can deny the truth, but it will come back. It will surface. And this is an example of it surfacing. Hardcore feminists saying, hey, wait a minute. Men and women are different. Yeah.